Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own DIY website in less than 30 minutes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to this website, marketing contractor forward slash DIY dash site, and it's going to bring you to this page. So in this example, I'm going to be showing you how to do this for a pressure washing business. However, we also have sites for epoxy flooring, which is an emerging market as well as car detailing, interior cleaning, and landscaping. Um, now, in the future, we will be adding more and more and more styles. Uh, if you remember back a few months ago, we didn't have all of these styles that we have now, so we just keep pumping out more and more. Um, and we try to really focus on extremely high quality, uh, as high quality as we can possibly get them. So with that being said, just click on pressure washing. You can go through each site here and kind of preview, see what they look like. And then once you've settled on a site, that uh, you like, uh, just go ahead and click start building. Of course, I'll show you what the preview would look like here. You can see what it looks like on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Now, technically you can do this on a mobile phone uh, if you really, really want to, uh, but I highly recommend building this from a PC or a laptop. It's gonna make your life much easier. So as you can see here, you can look through it. Uh, you see what the color scheme is now. Uh, what I recommend is start visualizing what the color scheme would look like with your own colors. And uh, I'll show you how to go ahead and change this. So let's go ahead and use this one. Uh, let's go ahead and click start building. And it's going to have you enter your personal information here, your name, as well as your email. And uh, I'll show you how I like to do it here. And then because it asked for email twice, I'll just go ahead and copy that and paste that in here. Eco clean. Phone number. Uh, you, main address, you can also just put your main service area. If you're pressure washing, if you have a, an office where you want users to come in and, and view, maybe like a, a detailing company, then you can enter your actual address there, but you can get by with just a city. And then you don't have to fill this information out down here. Let's go ahead and click submit. Give it a second to load because right now what it's doing is it's creating your website. Go ahead and click close. And then it's going to bring you here. Now, this is where you're going to set your password okay so make sure you set something that you will remember and then once you set your password it's going to have you enter that same email right here and then it's going to have you re-enter that password that you just created right there once you do that, it's going to bring you to this page. This is going to be your site dashboard. Okay. So of course it's a new site, so there's no statistics, but as your site starts ranking, as you start driving traffic, this is where you're going to view the statistics for your website, which is extremely important when it comes to decision making. But with that being said, in order to edit it, you simply need to click the edit button and it'll bring you to this page here. And this is the actual site editor right here. So this is where the magic happens, okay? The very first thing that you need to do is go to content on the left-hand column, click business info, and this is where you're gonna fill out your business information. So I'll just go eco clean power washing. You're gonna wanna add your logo right here. So I'll show you how to do that. You simply click upload and go to your logos. And I'm gonna go find mine here. Pull that in right there. Then you're going to want to enter the location. So in this case, you can just go to Harrisburg, PA, or wherever you're located. You're going to enter your phone number right here. Um, now you see here, it automatically enters uh, your phone number as well as the email address. Uh, it's going to automatically have that in. This is where you're going to want to put your social links. So put the link to your Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube. And the reason you want to do this all here before you start editing the site is because this will automatically... Um, push this information to the site and it saves you a ton of time. And that's part of the reason or part of the uh, way that we're able to make this whole process take less than 30 minutes. As you can see, this video is four minutes in, we're already into the editor here. So then you're going to want to come to business text and come down to where it says business address or excuse me, location or city, I mean, uh, and actually both. You could just put whatever your uh, service area is right here. So I'll change it from Harrisburg and we'll just go to Camp Hill just so you can see what I mean. So just go Camp Hill, 
and then uh, business images you can add them here for your local schema and everything like that uh, but right now we're done with this part we will be coming back for this right here um, and this is part of the features that I, I talk about in some of my other videos when I say that SEO features are built in and this is why I love this system so much as you can see it allows you to easily set up your local business schema which is very important for your local SEO um, but you're gonna want to wait until you publish your site before you uh, enable that okay um, one other thing I will show you before we get into it, uh, the design part is the SEO part. So you can see here, if you come to settings and then you click SEO, this is very important. You need to set this up. Uh, site title, I like to do something like power washing in Harrisburg, and then I'll just put like the business name. Um, that seems to work very well, and then a little description as well. Uh, as you can see, here, try to limit to 320 characters, right? So come up with a little description, but here's what's really cool. So you see how I made those updates. Now look at the site, the customizations that have already been made. High rated power washers in Camp Hill, right? The phone number right there. The logo has been added right there. Um, Camp Hill's top power washing company. Now, what if I don't like this green color? What if my site, I don't want it to be green. I want it to be more of maybe a blue on blue or something like that. Well, all you have to do is come in here and change it. Maybe I like this dark blue color better. So everywhere where I see green, and this is part of the way where I say, um, you can do it in less than 30 minutes, but you, you may also want to spend a few hours really getting into the nitty gritty. Um, and the thing I love about it, it's so easy. I have tutorial videos that make it even easier. You can go through and customize this as much as you really want to. So again, maybe you don't like this green color. Um, what you'll notice is you can go to the recent colors. If you like one, you just come over to save and add it and it'll add it to your saved colors. That way you don't have to keep looking for it every time, right? Here's this button. Go ahead and change that. All right? Here's this button. Same thing. Go ahead and change that. Dark blue. This button. Go ahead and change that to dark blue. This one as well. And this is assuming if you don't like the green. If you like the green and it fits your branding, just stick with it. Right? No, but you don't have to. Again, here's another green section. So all I'm going to do is change that color to blue. Come down here. Highlight the green text, turn that to dark blue. Click on this little uh, border here, change that to dark blue. Here's a little green section, turn that to dark blue. Here's a, a green section again, turn that to dark blue. And you can see here, this is taking me less than a few minutes. I can go through and on the entire front page, you know, if I really just dedicate a few minutes to it, I can customize this whole site to look exactly how I want it to look right Here's that like that change that to blue change this to blue change this part to blue And now there's a little bit more green left, but just for the uh, sake of time here, um, I just want to show you how simple that is. Now look at this top part. Now, if you really didn't like that green color and blue fits your brand more, boom, just like that. It's all uh, updated across the site. Super, super easy. All right? Here's a green section right here. Change that to blue. Now, uh, one little tricky thing here I just want to show you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and come in in more colors. I'm going to pull this up. Um, I'm going to copy that hex code. And then you'll notice this border around uh, these images here, here, this gallery is orange, right? Again, maybe you don't want that to be blue. So in this case, it's a little bit trickier. So we have to go edit the actual CSS here. Um, and all you have to do is highlight this RGB update and boom, it changes it to blue color. So now instead of it being the orange, now it's blue. Um, same thing right here. Boom. You notice there's a little bit of green accent over here. So just come to design, come to title style, border left, and turn it to dark blue. Now that's our dark blue as well, right? Here's a, another one right here. So a little bit of a green border. So boom, dark blue. And just like that, that's how you can customize uh, the site. Now, if you want to change an image, maybe you don't like this image, right? You can come in here and 
uh, you can click upload. So from your PC, you can upload any images that you want to. Uh, I recommend taking your own images. Try to get some quality images to add. It's very, very beneficial to do that. Um, or there also are stock images. So if you just come in like, I don't know if there's any good ones though. That's a problem. Yeah, it looks like there's not really too many good ones. Like there are a couple in here. Um, you're better off using your own picture. See, there are a couple in here, but you're better off using your own images. But if you wanted to, you could switch out a couple of these, All right? Throw that one in there if you wanted to, maybe delete that one. And now you've got, uh, you know, an updated image in there. Um, so there's that. Now, when it comes to editing the text, which is also very important, you'll notice um, when you enter your business name, it pulls it in here. Uh, so that could be a little tricky to edit. You can't really edit that too much unless you delete the whole thing and just type it out. That really is probably not a bad idea. But you can see here, you know, we got a little paragraph. You can be confident that your property is ready for success when you rely on our team for your exterior cleaning uh, requirements. Now, you may not like the way that's worded or you may want to have a different paragraph in there. Maybe you, you won some kind of award for your business on next door or like some kind of local community voted you best in your area. And so you might want to add something like that on the site right here instead, because that is more like, you know, tailored to your business. That's more valuable to your business than that. So you might want to change out some of these paragraphs, or maybe you want to change out some of these bullet points here. Um, super easy. All you have to do is click on it, highlight it, and just like you're editing a, a Google Doc, you know, type whatever you want. See that? Super easy. Right? You can type whatever you want right there. You know, it does not matter. Whatever works best for you. And then go to the same thing. Go to residential page, commercial page, and do the same thing. You know, edit it out. Change it out however you want it. If you want to delete a page, all you have to do is come over here. Click the gear icon. Click delete. If you want to add a new page... What I recommend doing if you do want to add a new page is duplicate one of these pages and then change out the content because you can add a new page, but the problem when you add a new page is it starts you off with a blank slate. And so trying to copy everything and make it look the same is very time consuming, not necessarily hard, but it's time consuming. And so it's easier to just duplicate a page and then change out the content. Now, all this content down here is part of the footer. So that's why all this is the same. But this is where the, the new contents of your page would be. Now, here's one other cool thing you can do. If you guys uh, are getting a little overwhelmed, if you feel like there's a lot to this, I do have tutorial videos as well as a support portal that you can access to, to uh, look up different answers to questions that you might have. Um, and then... Um, in my tutorial videos, I cover some of the most basic things that you're going to need uh, to know when it comes to editing your site. But here's a cool thing. You can come down here, click add a section, um, and then just go to exterior cleaning sections. And you can import different sections into your site as well. If you want to split test, give it a second to load. But if you want to split test different landing pages, different styles, different sections, uh, you can come here and easily do that. So you can see here all these different styles that we have available here. Uh, right here is the landing page we were using earlier. As you can see, you can easily import that, but you already have that one. So you might want to try a different one. Maybe you want to try this one and see what this landing page would, would uh, how this one would perform, right, compared to the other one. Um, then there's other options. And again, just like our standard website um, templates, we're going to be adding more and more here. We're putting a much bigger emphasis on this. Now, what if you offer Christmas lights and you want to add a Christmas light section to your site? Well, all you got to do is come in here. Pick which one you like best. You hover over the little magnifying glass. It'll kind of show you the whole layout of the site. Once you like it, simply click Save. And I'll show you how easy this is. Now what you want to do is just delete this white section. Delete that. And then boom. Now you have a Christmas lights landing page on your site. And the nice thing about this is it'll automatically format the text and the, and the font to match the font that's set on your website. So if your website has a certain font style, it'll automatically default to that. That way you don't have to worry about changing the font layout and everything like that. Now you can still go through and change the font if you want to, but you notice how it's titled new page. Uh, for SEO purposes, what you're going to want to do, and, and for you know user experience, you're going to want to come up to rename and title this Christmas lights or Christmas light install or holiday lighting install, whatever you feel most comfortable with, go ahead and rename it. Then click settings, and this is another SEO feature. Click SEO, and then page title, Christmas lights 
installation, and then whatever your city is, add that right there. Right? And then the same thing like we did with the site, add a page description, drop in some keywords here, Christmas lights. I'm not going to do it all for the sake of time, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I think you kind of get the point there. Um, then go ahead and click save when you're ready, cancel out of it, and then boom, now you got a Christmas lights tab up there. All right, so guys, that's as simple as it is when you're ready to publish and the site is looking good, you're proud, you're ready to take it live, all you have to do is click publish. It'll bring you to this page where you pick your page and like I said, you don't have to pay anything until you are ready to publish. So if you wanna try it out, see if it's for you, maybe you try it out and you don't like it and it's not as intuitive as you hoped it would be, you don't have to pay. But if you play around with this, spend a few hours designing and editing, and then you decide, you know what, this site is really nice. I want to take it live. All you got to do is come here, pick your plan. It's $49 per month or $497 for the year. Of course, the yearly plan saves you two months, saves you 100 bucks over the course of a year. So it's up to you. Enter your business email. And then it's going to have you make your payment. And then just like that, we'll go in and, and get everything ready for you. And then once you do that, you will receive an email with instructions on the next step, which is connecting your domain name. Once you connect your domain name, it's ready to roll. You can start putting it on Google My Business, start promoting it on Facebook, start driving traffic to that page, and it's, it's ready to go. So that's all there is to it, guys. Like I said, it will take you less than 30 minutes uh, if you're in a rush. Or what I recommend doing is t sitting down and take you know a few hours or maybe 30 minutes you know, for the next five days in the afternoon when you get some time, sit down, think through it, and really try to make it as high quality as you can and represent your brand in, in a positive way. You know, like I said, it can take less than 30 minutes, but I would I would recommend investing some time into it to really try to make it as high quality as possible because the more effort you put into it and the better quality you make it, the better it's going to convert and you're going to get more leads from it. Um, so I recommend, you know, spend a few hours if you have to. Make it look really good. Add your own photos. Add some videos to it. Like I said, I have tutorials available to help you out. And that's all there is to it, guys. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope to hear from you soon and have a great day.